Hi, and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the chords, featured chords lesson for the months of April through June 2019. We're going to take one last look at some chords from the famed Mickey Baker Jazz Guitar Book. And what I've done the last couple episodes of this particular lesson is that I've tried to pick some chords from the Mickey Baker book that can be used in, in blues guitar. And it's definitely a jazz book, but there are some ideas that if you work on it long enough, you can figure out some ways to incorporate it into your own playing. There's a really cool chord sequence that I swear I'd heard before when I first saw it in this book and was working with it. Johnny Guitar Watson has a tune called Getting Drunk, and it's played in B-flat with a capo on the 6th fret, but I recognize this little descending chord thing that he did. And this leads me to an idea from the Mickey Baker book. And where you use it is when the song is coming from the 5 to the 4 to the 1. That's where I use this. And I've used it in a couple different tunes, even one that I recorded. And so if we're playing in the key of A, let's use it in the key of A. It goes something like this. So if our tune's in... In A, instead of doing something like this, instead I'm doing this. And that is the, the little chord sequence. So let me show you what goes into that. This is a B minor, B minor seventh. And the way I'm playing it, he doesn't show to play it this way in the book, but this is just easier for me, is I use my thumb on the ninth fret of the sixth string, and then I take my ring finger and I get the top four string. And each time you play one of these chords, you're going to lead in with the bass. So it's bass, strong. And then we're going to an A 13th flat ninth. And so we're going, whoops, right there. This chord, I've got my first finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string, my second finger on the eighth fret of the sixth string, my ring finger is on the eighth fret of the third string, and my pinky's on the ninth fret of the second string. So we got this. And then we're going to do another minor seventh, A minor 7. The exact same shape we used here, we're just going to do it now at the 7th fret. My ring finger getting top 4 strings, my thumb on the bass at the 7th fret. So we've got... And then right here, this is the hard one. And this one is what they call a finger buster. This is a D13 flat 5th flat ninth. D13 flat 5th flat ninth. It's on the screen here. And here's how I'm doing it. I've gotten to the point where I've learned it. And it's almost a reflex. If I think about it too much, I can't make this chord. <laughs> I just got to do it. So what I'm doing is my first finger is on the 6th fret of the 6th string. My second finger is on the seventh fret of the third string. My ring finger is on the eighth fret of the fifth string. And my pinky is getting both the first and second strings at the ninth fret. And that's what you get. So the whole sequence played slowly. B minor seventh, A thirteenth, flat ninth, A minor seventh, and then we've got this D 13 flat 5th, flat ninth, And then you go to the 1. So we got... Into the 1. Don't even remember what page of the book I found this on, but he has these things if you ever take the time to check out the Mickey Baker Jazz Book. This is the first volume. He has these different sequences of chords, which he says are commonly used in jazz. And I just started playing around with them, just seeing if I could figure out anything useful to blues. And I found this little sequence, and then I remembered the Johnny Guitar Watson song.
think Johnny Guitar Watson plays it a little differently. Instead of playing these like minor sevenths, he may just play the ninths or something a little different, or even a minor chord. You check it out, see what you think. But this is an idea that I use, at least I've used it a number of times. And I use it when the song goes from the five to the four to the one. And I can throw in, instead of playing something like, that's where I throw in this. And then I get to the one. All right, hope you enjoyed this lesson. Hope it's helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. The chord diagrams are now on the screen for you. And listen to Johnny Guitar Watson's I'm Getting Drunk and see if you can hear, hear what I'm talking about. I'll be back again in a few months, a couple months, with another featured chord. This time we'll move away from the Mickey Baker book and try to find some other chords that we haven't worked with yet. See you then.